Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a haul from L3. Um, I received this a few days ago and like I did open it, I just didn't have time to film. And it is really, really hot today, so I'm gonna try and get through this as fast as possible so I can get back to the AC. Um, also, they are doing lawn mowing outside of my apartment complex, so if they get too close, then I will have to pause the video, so it might be a little choppy but we will do our best so i already threw out my invoice because i didn't want to accidentally show my address again <laughs> um this is the sticker i got it says if you want to achieve greatness stop asking for permission unknown and so i will keep that right there and when we get to the loaf i will put that right on it um i got a little sample bag and it did come with a candy i don't know where exactly it is i may have already eaten that um, the first one we have is Strawberry Gain Boardwalk Mellow Clouds, a cute flower. And you can smell this one through the bag. Obviously, Gain is very strong. I've had Strawberry Gain before, but not with Boardwalk. So I actually really like this. The Boardwalk kind of makes it more feminine and makes the laundry more tolerable, tolerable to me. Gain... Or Gain Island Fresh, stuff like that. Sometimes it can be too strong for me. So, and the strawberry isn't too, too strong either. Sometimes, like lately with fresh picked strawberries or stronger strawberry blends like that, I've just kind of been turned off by it. But that one's actually really nice. I do like that a lot. I've been wanting to try a laundry scent with a sensual scent or a clean other scent in it. And that one is really nice. So I may get that in the future. Um, I've had both of these scents separate, but I've never had them together. This is Sweetie Pie and White Elephant Exchange. I think I have one of the two-pack tarts left in Sweetie Pie, and I have a bunch of White Elephant Exchange. So if I like this one, which I assume I will, then I can actually recreate it. All right, let me take this one out. So you do get the Sweetie, uh, Sweetie Pie pretty strong in this one. I'm mostly getting that monster jam that's in the sweetie pie. Sorry, I've had to pause it twice now because they just keep mowing right up by my window. So I do get the white elephant exchange, but it doesn't smell like it normally does. I think when it's blended with that sweetie pie, it's giving it a different smell. So yes, I probably would repurchase that. It's nice. I do like it. I would have to melt it to be sure. And the next sample is a scoopable sample. Excuse me. When I saw this one, I was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to like that one. Midnight Blue Citrus, Cashmere Cedar, and Bergamot Waters. I've had Cashmere Cedar from L3. I don't think I've had the other two since. It smells so <laughs> unbelievably good. I haven't smelled anything like this, to be honest. So the Midnight Blue Citrus, I'm not sure what the scent notes are. It's a very light citrus, like a kind of watery. Or maybe it's the Bergamot Waters making that lighter. And that Cashmere Cedar, it just kind of makes it smell more sensual. It's like a clean, sensual scent to me. Focus, why don't you? So I probably would buy this again. I would have to try it to be 100% sure, but on cold sniff, I would probably buy this without even trying it. All right, let's move on to... So I got some dry oils this time. I already, I keep one in the bag. I got two because they're just two ounce ones. Um, I took all the other ones out of the bags. So, Saltwater Mermaid, I got this in the pre-order for the first time. That was the first time ever smelling it. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. I ran through all my two-pack tarts already. Um, my Salty Siren, I'm almost out of that already too. And the Lighthouse Blend with Saltwater Mermaid. I mean, I've just used through almost all of the stuff that I had in that scent. So, I wanted to smell this more often. I got the dry oil 
sheesh, my brain is going faster than my mouth. So the dry oil, you only need a couple spritzes of one or two. Um, you know, it just depends on the area. And I also got the body mist. Um, I've never seen the body mist in a clear container, so I didn't know that it was like this white milky kind of look. Um, the first spray of this, it does come out. Somebody did tell me in the Facebook group, it does come out not as fine. It's like kind of a spritz all of a sudden. So I took their advice, sprayed that on my arm or my skin or whatever first. And then the other spritzes will be more finer of a mist. Sorry, they're mowing close by again. Um, this little orange spot right here, this is from the label. Uh, not the label. The seal on the inside of the cap that protects it in shipping. It melted and got down into there. So, I mean, I could take a Q-tip and get it out. But I'm like, it's, it's not doing anything. It's not hurting anything right now. So, I'll just wait till it gets down a little bit. Because I don't want to, you know, put a Q-tip in there and have it be all soaked up soaking up all my salt water mermaid and then the other dry oil that I got is cookie therapy um, I got it in the regular body oil and I didn't really like the way that the scents were smelling I got a couple of the body oils the little one ounce trial sizes and they just they didn't smell as the scent smelled normally to me so I got this in the body oil dry oil it smells really really good Moving on. Um, I got two of these. There also wasn't many loafs. I think there was only one loaf in this restock. It was mostly smaller items, so she could make a lot of it. Um, this is Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie Royale and White Elephant Exchange. I got Zucchini Bread White Elephant Exchange in the pre-order, and I loved it. I ran right through what I had of that, because I only got the two packs of everything. So I like this. It smells very similar to the plain zucchini bread white elephant exchange. This sugar cookie royale. It does make it smell more buttery and like more cookie obviously. But uh, the description on the bottom is for white elephant exchange. It's powdered donuts, vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. So this definitely smells really nice. Happy to have too many loaves of that. Um, I hope she pours the original zucchini bread white elephant exchange again because that one is so creamy. The zucchini is so strong in that. I do like this. I just think that the cookie makes it not as strong. Um, the next one I have here. Let me move some stuff back. Uh, the next one is strawberry pound cake, vanilla butter fudge, and raspberry whip. I haven't ever had this one before, new to me scent. And this smells fabulous. Um, first sniff, I'm getting the strawberry pound cake and vanilla butter fudge. And the raspberry whip is kind of in the background. It smells really, really good. This is an addicting scent, I can already tell. Because I can't stop smelling it. Um, the Raspberry Whip doesn't smell... Like, sometimes when it's in blends, I don't get the green note that's in the Raspberry Whip. But that's okay, because this is definitely a bakery blend. Ugh, it smells so good. I can't stop sniffing it. So, my list was like a million miles long, and I had to kind of pick and choose since there weren't any loaves I had to just get mini loaves and get doubles of the ones I really wanted so the next one I actually got this last time this was my request last restock I got two of it again because it still hasn't come in a loaf so I'm like well I guess I'm just going to get two more mini loaves because I've already used one mini loaf out of the two I got last time um, lemon pound cake, blueberry cobbler, and white elephant exchange. This smells really, really nice. It is very creamy. Um, you don't smell the blueberry a whole lot. 
I mean, it's in there, but it's not like super strong. I mostly get the lemon pound cake and the white elephant exchange. The lemon and the blueberry are just blending together into one sort of scent, which I actually like. I really like lemon blueberry bakery. It's one of my favorite sorts of blends this summer for some reason. So I'm very happy to have two more mini loaves of that. Wish I could have gotten a loaf or something bigger. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit so I have some more space. Um, this one I wasn't totally sure about. I really like her lemon pound cake, but I wasn't sure if it would go well with cookie therapy. But I took a chance, got the two mini loaves. So here we are with those. Lemon pound cake and cookie therapy. Cookie therapy is that um, sugared shortbread, Santa's on keto, pretzel. Like it smells like a really sweet, almost caramely pretzel. It's not super yeasty like you get that yeasty pretzel, but it's not super, super strong on the pretzel. So it doesn't smell super strong like on first sniff in the top of the container. So I'm going to take it out and smell the bottom. Okay, I can smell it a little bit more now. So you definitely are getting the cookie therapy. Maybe I'm just a snob for plain cookie therapy, but I don't really love cookie therapy in blends unless it's like with another bakery like the White Elephant Exchange and cookie therapy. You know, it has to be certain stuff like that. So I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I could melt it, but I don't think I would really love it that much, to be honest. All right. Let me move this right out of the way here because I'm running out of room. So the last thing I got is a loaf. This was left over from the pre-order, so it's nice and cured. It is saltwater mermaid. So let's take our sticker back here and apply it right to the package. If I could stop bonking the camera, that would be great. There we go. So I don't have the scent notes right in front of me. If I remember it correctly, agave nectar, coconut milk, ocean mist, seagrass, or something like that. I would have to check to be 100% sure, but this, Saltwater Mermaid has become a favorite of mine. It is like very, very fresh. It gives you a little bit of that clean vibe, but it's mostly like a fresh scent. You get the little bit of aquatic and the sweetness from the agave and coconut milk. When I first saw the scent notes for this, I didn't think I would like it at all, to be honest. But I'm very, very glad that I tried it. Because this is like the perfect spring and summer, like, refreshing scent. It, it, it's amazing. I can't even describe it very well, to be honest, because it's just totally different than anything I've ever tried. But this definitely is a favorite of mine now, and I probably will always try and have some. I probably will be chopping this today because I am already out of all of my little ones that I had. So yeah, that is everything that I got. So thank you for watching all the way to the end if you have made it. I really appreciate that. Um, I have some other orders coming. Um, I, I actually have something coming later today. I'm not even sure what it is. Um, so there will be more videos coming. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.